Today's scripture comes from the book of Genesis, chapter 1, verses 1 to 5. In the beginning, when God created the heavens and the earth, the earth was a formless void, and darkness covered the face of the deep, while a wind from God swept over the face of the waters. Then God said, Let there be light, and there was light. And God saw that the light was good, and God separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And there was evening, and there was morning the first day. Amen. Let's pray. Father, we come before you, we empty our hearts and minds to be filled by your love, grace, and word. So speak into our hearts, because we need your voice. And I pray, may the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be pleasing in your eyes, O Lord, my rock and my redeemer. Amen. <laughs> Right now, 
in court. I'm glad that didn't happen. But four people are dead, 52 are arrested, and 14 policemen were injured. This will go down in history as well as in our memory as America's Day of Shame. By the way, this was not my initial introduction for today's message. When I outlined you know, this sermon at first, early Wednesday morning, I wanted to share funny stories and some jokes, but not today. The world leaders condemn riot at U.S. Capitol building, and the people, both Democrats and Republicans, are furious with these rioters. But I invite you to pray for them, because whether we like it or not, they are our fellow citizens, like family members whom we are to help and guide. So, is there a better way? I think there is a way of peace seeking the middle ground through nomination, discussion, and election. And I don't want to lose hope for our democracy and our country and our ideals. You know, we have achieved and advanced so much, although some sections of our society are slower than others. And I always and still believe of violence can never have lasting impacts. Only gentle powers can. Today is the first Sunday of Epiphany. Epiphany comes from, from a Greek word Epiphania, which means manifestation or appearance. So the season of Epiphany celebrates the liberation of God incarnate as Jesus Christ. And this Sunday is called, according to lectionary, according to the church calendar, Baptism of the Lord, where Jesus is baptized by John the Baptist in River Jordan and thus begins his public ministry as in today's gospel lesson, Mark chapter 1, verses 4 through 11. An Old Testament passage which you read today is the first chapter of the Bible, very first verses. In the beginning, when God created the heaven and the earth, the earth was a formless void, and darkness covered the face of the deep, while a wind from God swept over the face of the waters. Then God said, Let there be light. And there was light. And God saw that the light was good, and God separated the light from the darkness. So, this is creation. God created order out of chaos. God called light into existence and brought peace out of primordial water, out of violence. Just as Jesus in Mark comes out of water, they're the symbol of chaos. And then a light shines through and the Spirit of the Lord descends on him like a dove, which is a symbol of what? Peace. Thinking of what happened in the U.S. Capitol on Wednesday, I asked, what if, what if those people who voted against President-elect Joe Biden surrounded the Capitol but cheered the certification of electoral college and supported the demo democratic process? What if they, they did that? That could have been the day of honor for American democracy and the day of victory for them, for all people, Democrats and Republicans alike. And 
we would have seen the light shining through and the Spirit of the Lord descending on us. By the way, I'm not Dr. King, but that's my dream. Our nation united. So, I want to share with you one thing. Let us fight the good fight by gentle powers. You know, the fight is everywhere. Fight for life during the pandemic, fight for survival in the time when people are losing jobs, businesses, and even lives, and fight for decency at the transition of power. Therefore, let us surround ourselves and guard ourselves with God's word and God's love and trust that even in the darkest of our of our days, knowing will finally come. When God created the light, the first day happened as follows. God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And there was evening and there was morning the first day. So there was darkness first, and then light came. From evening to morning, that was the first day. I think that's life. At first, trouble comes. Darkness prevails, whether it's political turmoil or the declining of health or institution, whatever it may be. But we also see light is coming, a new day is dawning. Until that day comes, my friends, let us fight the good fight by gentle powers. In Germany, there was a man born in a wealthy family on February 4th, 1906. He completed his Doctor of Philosophy degree in 1927 at the age of 21 from Berlin University, graduating summa cum laude. This young, bright, and promising theologian was invited to teach at Union Theological Seminary in New York City in 1939, when he was only 33. But he returned to Germany two weeks later. In his letter to his friend, Mantel, and theologian, Lionel Niebuhr, he writes, quote, I have come to the conclusion that I have made a mistake in coming to America. I must live through this difficult period in our national history with the people of Germany. I will have no right to participate in the reconstruction of Christian life in Germany after the war, if I do not share the trials of this time with my people." End quote. There, he was arrested by the Nazis for his involvement in the assassination of Adolf Hitler in September 1944, imprisoned in the concentration camps, and finally executed on April 9th, 1945, three weeks before the surrender of Germany. This pastor, theologian, and anti-Nazi was Dietrich von Hefer, one of the most influential theologians whom Germany ever produced in 20th century. In his letter to, from prison to his fiancée, Maria, on December 19, 1944, he sends Christmas greetings to her and to her family and shares his poem that has become the part of German Lutheran hymnal. And this him goes like this.
year 2021, let us remember that God will surround us by his gentle powers. So let us fight the good fight because we will be lovingly surrounded, whatever comes on our way. And God will be with us at night and in the morning and certainly on every future day. Amen. Let's pray. God of love, God of compassion, grant your mercy on your people who are suffering from disease and on this country that is witnessing the division, hatred, and anger. Grant us gentle powers to live as the light of this world, bringing peace and justice in the midst of chaos and violence. Surround us with your loving hands and by gentle powers, and allow us to enter together the new year with hope and love. In Christ's name we pray. Amen.